Oh, the Jade Chamber. Ocean man, take me by the oh my, Lua is literally getting flooded. Don't tell me we have to fight that. Just as we came out of the golden house, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. No, I think we would have, considering there's a giant water monster. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the overlord of the vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? It's right in front of us. What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept guy. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? I even thought you were arguing with the Chi-Sing. Is the fighting over? Were we... Were we right about Madame Ping being an adeptus? <laughs> Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh. Just seeing this Overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy. We've been from all the way out here. So will the power of the Chi-Sing, Lilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? Wait, all of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lilith. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. I love you, Crowd Retainer. The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. This is exciting, but also yeah. so sc- <gasps> She is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, they're t they seem to be taking care of Osile, so that's very good. That is Osile's divine power. Oh. Be careful not to get hit. Oh. Uh <laughs> yeah, a little late for that. This is awfully stressful. This is magnificent. Oh, it's working. We just need to keep this up. 
Ew, is he gonna vomit that at her? What's happening? The ballista, uh oh. And the floor, oh, this. Well, it's like elemental stuff. Yo, it's how safe us. Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. No! What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. But the Jade Farewell, Chamber. Friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. This aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. <laughs> Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room. But with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, Focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. The Adepti are low-key mean. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world. 
establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. Ew. Uh, why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? I hate Chang Chang more than anything. <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong in danger is near. Everyone, thanks for protecting me. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an Adeptus. Oh. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the gods so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, true. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Is there anything I can do for you, too? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Yeah, and I bet I know he's who he's with. Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liyue? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. He's not as dumb as you are, Paimon. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. You call this cooperation between Harbingers. Cooperation involves communication, you know. It's Senora. Oh my god, I love Senora. She's so pretty. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh. It seems that some of your friends have arrived. She recognizes us. <laughs> I love her. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. I'm glad you remember me at all. Right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. You still have time to take it back. No, don't let her get to you! You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements, and our last battle at the Golden House was almost more than you could handle! No, it wasn't. Wesley nerfed him. So it might be best to keep things peaceful this time. Seeing that two of the Harbingers are here. Well, if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Oh, sure. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? 
Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. Both of them? So actually, I think... Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Gnosis? What in the world are you talking about? The contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. <sighs> How sanctimonious. What does that word mean? Making a show of or being morally superior to other people. I don't know, it sounds like you. Like Senora herself. What? So you're the Lord of Chia? We've been new. No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the gnosis to the Fatui? I bet you he's gonna say some dumb stuff about contracts. I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. <laughs> for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Her eyes are so pretty. Ugh. I hope she becomes playable, she's absolutely gorgeous. Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. I witnessed the founding of Liyue together with the Adepti 3,700 years ago. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form and that the end of my time had not yet come until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers you finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, oh Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue? The city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death, and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liyu matured when faced with the death of its deity. Are you speaking from experience? I was pleasantly surprised with the finale of the show that you all put on. Why, you even deserved an encore. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti. To come to the defense of Liyue. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liyue's divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liyue. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Ha! <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. 
I had always feared that it was too soon for the His voice makes me sleepy. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark. No one feels sorry for you. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liyue, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? You have really embarrassed yourself this time. Hey, haven't you learned the Liu is saying? Don't always call it as you see it. <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapoyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish. How how childish. Look, it's Mingong and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? <laughs> Probably not. Traveler. Oh? Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young. The Liu of Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Whoa. Everyone's waiting. <laughs> Wow, could you help me put up some missing person posters? Hey, Zhongli! Look at this! Everyone in Liyue is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again! And here you are looking all relaxed! <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. <gasps> yes, please. <laughs> that sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinya kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. Hi, sorry that video was kind of, um, boring. <laughs> there wasn't really a lot to do with editing because it was just story dialogue. The next video should be more interesting. Uh, it won't be a story quest. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more interesting content, please subscribe. I really should stop saying this at the end because who stays for days, but... Yeah, thank you.